Thank you for watching this short video showing the QEG virus to watts conversion in 2016. This is James and I am excited to share the latest QEG developments with you. This, this coil um, is actually placed in series with the high voltage primary on the QEG. So what we're actually doing here is uh, simulating uh, a bitoroid using a spare core. All we're doing basically is uh, we're relying on the gaps, uh, the gap here between the rotor and the stator and the gap here between the rotor and the stator to limit the flux to the primary. We're using the two existing output coils as the outputs on this uh, simulation. We're thinking of this as the primary now and these are the two secondaries for the, uh, the bitoroid. So I'm going to show the concept of the bitoroid transformer actually does work here for the QEG. It does the phase correction. It does convert the, the VARs to watts and also isolates the load from the generator. Using this transformer configuration there's no feedback to the resonance uh, or the output. The two very important concepts. The load will not affect the resonance of the generator and the other uh, feature is that it corrects the uh, 90 degrees out of phase condition and, and uh, brings the voltage and current in phase. Like I said, we're just taking the output from the two secondaries. Uh, that, uh, the yellow trace is the, uh, the primary voltage. That's the voltage in the primary right now, and I will um, attach the current probe. Show you where. Just gonna connect to uh, this. This lead, which is. Uh, series with the primary. So what we're looking at right here will be the primary current. I'm just going to hold that while I look at the scope. So I'll take this off now and I'm going to attach it here on the load bank on the black wire. And I've got the uh, 10x probe connected for the voltage so we get the voltage and the current on. This is going to be on uh, one of the outputs. You see the light bulbs lit up here right now. This is driving both secondaries. This, you'll see that the load on the two secondaries has to be balanced. So if I open one of these light bulbs, the other one will go out. You see, I connect that one, and this one goes out. I disconnect this one, and that one goes out. Uh, I haven't tried doing that in parallel, but I have done it in series, and it, it works. You get double the, the voltage and current. The other thing I wanted to 
show I'm going to go to about the maximum KV right here and show you that removing the load doesn't change the resonance. So you can hear it there and you can see we're loaded up. So I'm just going to disconnect it and uh, no change. Disconnecting or reconnecting. So those are the effects we're looking for. Uh, now we're now we have we're looking at just the secondary voltage and current. So I'm going to turn off the primary. Now I have the, uh, the current signal is there, and once again that's right here. Current probe right on the black wire here, coming from the bitoroid secondary. Okay, now I'll turn on the voltage probe right here. Mm -hmm. You see, we are in phase here. We have uh, just that little bit. So the, the pink trace is the voltage and the blue trace is the current. One of the secondaries we're looking at. I'll move this over, we'll look at the other secondary current there and voltage. Just move that trace a little bit so you can see that they're nested. continue to changing some connections around looking good for converting the bars and isolating the load from the generator okay a little bit more later thanks